in the beginning, kibbutz was a very, very, very important uh, issue in Israel because the kibbutz actually built Israel. The kibbutzim built Israel, actually. They go to uh, stay in the, in the border. Many of the kibbutzim, if you look in, in the Israeli uh, map, you can see in the map where kibbutzim stay. Uh -huh. And they stay in the difficult places in Israel. Also Tsuba, now you come to Tsuba, it's a very nice place, yeah. many trees, many houses, yeah. uh, many uh, beautiful hou uh, houses and, uh, and people. movement uh, all together came into being as a result of uh, the rebellion of the Jewish youngsters in the Eastern Europe little towns, Städtel, that were places, villages mostly or small towns where Jews lived amongst Jews only mm -hmm. and they had a very traditional way of life and uh, they were all religious, orthodox religious, and the younger generation, under the influence of the modernization, rebelled against the, this way of life and became Zionists, wanting to come back to Israel, to the, the state, the, there was no state, but to the place of Israel, the homeland, they considered it to be the homeland. And since the the conditions in Israel, Palestine at that time were very poor. The best way to survive was to create collectives. The first kibbutz was established in 1910, the Ganya, and there were 10 people there. Nobody dreamt of a kibbutz with hundreds of people. So it went on and on. More people arrived, and then the survivors of the Holocaust arrived. And in 1948, after the War of Liberation, uh, part of the people who had been fighting in the war established 35 new kibbutzim. Kibbutzim is the plural of kibbutz, and uh, settled uh, all around the borders of Israel. The idea was to settle the country, but also to protect it, to, to create boundaries, which were safe boundaries. This place, Sarah and, and I, this little hut. This was our first dining room, and this was our first cow shed. And many times people come here to visit, and they say, how come that the kibbutzim took all the be most beautiful parts of the country and establish themselves inside. And then we show them these pictures to show them how it looked on <laughs> when we came here. It wasn't beautiful in we the beginning. The yeah. rocks. You made it beautiful. Mm -hmm. But on the main, Tsuba is still a traditional kibbutz, which keeps the, the common good above the personal interest. But it's slowly eroding, not only in Tsuba, but in the whole kibbutz movement. We have already kibbutzim who have introduced uh, uh, differentiated income. More income for people who are in prominent jobs like uh, manager of a, fam of, a, of a factory, or manager of a branch, kibbutz secretary. In our kibbutz we keep the principle of rotation and we keep as much as possible uh, collective living, mutual responsibility of members, one for the other. Oh, and also to live so close together and to be depends one on the other, it's very difficult. Mm -hmm. It's very difficult. It's very difficult. <laughs>
there is a great deal of disillusion with socialism. But we don't have anything in, in better in, instead for the time being. So we are, the kibbutz is actually a breed between capitalism and socialism. We live socialist, in a socialist way, but we work and, and have our income from capitalistic uh, activities. In a big a clan, they lived in a compound of about 200 people. Of all these 200 people, only a few survived, those who were left early and went to Palestine. All the others were killed by the Germans in the Holocaust. They were taken to a forest and shot. They had to dig their own graves, then they were shot. The sister and brother of the reason we are telling you so much of details about the Holocaust is that you can't understand Israel and the mentality of the Israelis without understanding the Holocaust. The, the feeling sometimes expressed, or sometimes unconsciously, that we must take care that, that it doesn't happen again. And just now we are in a period when it could happen again, because now there's only one bomb could eradicate the whole of Israel. So we have to be very tough sometimes. We, we lean sometimes over backwards and we, we take stiff positions because we, of our decision not, not to let it happen again.